originally I was planning on going in my backyard and throwing a fastball right into the fence, and then I realized my landlord probably won't like that. Baseball season is finally here, and it's time for us to root, root, root for the home team, and if they don't win, it's a shame. I know a lot of people's favorite part of baseball is when the batter smacks the ball right out of the park. I think it's called a slam dunk. I know it's called a home run. That's called cheap humor, you guys. Ha ha. But for me, I prefer the pitching part. I know, call me odd, but pitching just intrigues me so much. It requires an abundance of skill and a lot of strategy. It's not as simple as just throwing a heater right down the middle. Over the years, pitchers have created new pitches to strike out their opponents. And the same can be said for those Christians who are out evangelizing the gospel. Not everyone can be struck out by the curve or change up. Same goes for evangelism. Not everyone can be effectively reached by just inviting them to church or giving them a Bible. Like pitchers in baseball, we have many options. We have the four-seam fastball. Being someone's friend and bringing them to church with you is usually the most effective way of reaching out to somebody. By simply living the way the Bible tells us, many people will want to know what we've got. If they see us acting like everyone else, you might as well just throw a slow fastball. Everyone can throw a slow fastball. Two-seam fastball. While similar to the four-seam fastball, this is more of the group of people that go to church on their own and listen to the sermon. Typically, churches do altar calls where they offer the congregation, uh, those who are not saved, to express that they would like to be, that they would like to receive the salvation that Jesus has given us. If you see someone getting saved for the first time, or heck, if they're new to the church, go talk to them. If someone has a personal connection to a church, they're more likely to come back there. The cutter. A cutter is a fastball knockoff. It's a few miles per hour slower than a fastball, but it's an effective way to jam a hitter. Many of us may not care for televangelism, but it must be effective. Does your church have the option of stream services online? That's televangelism. I mean, this is pretty awesome, right? You can tell someone how awesome your pastor is and how awesome your church is all you want, but unless they go there, they're not going to really know. Well, if they don't live close by, they can watch your services, uh, not really your services, but your church's services online. As the internet gets more and more integrated into our lives, this becomes a viable option to reach out to others. Slurve. A slurve is a mix between a curveball and a slider. Pitcher winds up and releases, and by the time it reaches the catcher, the batter is left wondering, what the heck was that? That's the direction that Christian music is going. What used to be as predictable and easy to hit as the curveball, Christian music is taking a whole new direction. Do they like hard rock? Recommend Skillet. Firefly. Maybe rap's more their thing. You can recommend Lecrae, Tadashi, or maybe they enjoy the top 40 stations. You can recommend Anthem Lights, uh, Hawk and Nilesland's newer stuff. There is literally something for everyone. Forkball. A forkball is thrown hard, and it usually tumbles and drops violently. The pitch is really hard on a pitcher's arm sort of like Bible beaters who go around bashing the Bible on everyone, telling them that they better repent or they're going to hell. Always telling you you're a sinner and that y'all need Jesus. They can be, well, are, annoying. Does this style ever work? I don't know, maybe. Change up. With the dawn of the internet came the information age. Anyone can find anything that they want, good or bad. Geeks Under Grace, Ah, see what I did there? Is a perfect example of the good that the internet can bring. It is certainly a welcome addition to the landscape of evangelism that we've had for the past 2,000 plus years. The internet brings us the possibility to reach out to many people in such a quick amount of time that it becomes almost mind-boggling. So what do y'all think? Are there other types of evangelism that have pitching equivalents? Let me know in the comments. Check us out at geeksundergrace.com, subscribe to the channel, and I just want to let you know, I went and bought this baseball at Walmart. It says Official League, and it's made by Rawlings. And guess what country it's made in? I bet you'll never guess. You probably did. China. China. Baseball.